Hi, welcome to Mad English TV. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you how to ask for directions. Now, asking directions can be really scary, especially if you don't know the language very well. But don't worry. In this lesson, I'm going to teach you everything you need to know. Okay, the first thing you need to know is that a lot of people in the world don't speak English. Okay, even here in Canada, um, a lot of people don't speak English. We have a whole province called Quebec where people speak French, right? So if you go to Quebec, you need to say, excuse me, do you speak English? But if you go to other places in Canada, um, you probably don't need to ask this because English is the main language in the other places in Canada, as well as in the US, uh, the UK, Australia, New Zealand. If you go to those places, probably most people will speak English, so you don't need to ask this. But if you go anywhere else in the world, Europe, Asia, South America, Africa, you're probably going to need to ask this question. Excuse me, do you speak English? Then you can ask directions if they speak English. So there's three steps to asking for directions, right? First, you need to get someone's attention. Hi, excuse me. Okay, next, you need to ask them for the directions. Then you need to understand the directions. And then you should probably thank them for the directions. Thank you so much for your help. And then you go and you try to find whatever you're looking for. Okay, so let's look at these steps. First step, get someone's attention. This can be the scariest step because you need to talk to someone, right? You need to, hi, uh, excuse me, right? So the best way to do this is to make eye contact, right? look at someone and, and say, excuse me. That will get their attention, and then you can ask them for the directions. Okay, let's look at step number two, ask for the directions. Now, there's different ways you can do this, but in my opinion, uh, these are probably the best ways you can do it. Okay, you can say, excuse me, could you tell me? Excuse me, do you know? Excuse me, I'm trying to find, All right? Let's look at some examples. Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the airport? So you're trying to find the airport. Excuse me, uh, could you tell me how to get to the airport? All right, excuse me, uh, do you know if there's a restaurant nearby? I'm a bit hungry, All right? Yeah, maybe you don't want to go to McDonald's. Uh, maybe you want to go to a, a different restaurant, but um, yeah, this is how you'd ask for a restaurant or you could ask for anything else, a bathroom. Excuse me, do you know if there's a bathroom nearby? I really need to use the bathroom. <laughs> okay, so you could use any word here you want, but any, as well for the last one, I mean, you could, you could use any word here. Excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the train station? Could you tell me how to get to the museum, all right? So all of these are just different ways of asking directions, all right? Let's look at the third way. Excuse me, I'm trying to find the Skyview Hotel. So you're trying to find your hotel or your hostel or your bed and breakfast or something uh, and you're lost. Excuse me, you could say, I'm lost. I'm trying to find the, the Skyview hostel. Uh, do you know where that is? Okay, so those are some really good ways, very easy ways to ask for directions. So this, the third step is to understand the directions. Now, this is really important. If you don't understand the directions, I mean, it's just a waste of time, right? So, to understand directions, you need to know words like left, right, straight. If you ask me for directions to this hotel and I say, yeah, turn left on 1st Street, then take a right on 8th Ave, then go straight until you see the hotel. If I tell you that, will you understand me? <laughs> I hope so. All right, so there's, there's different steps and you need to listen for each step, right? Because the person's going to, they're going to tell you how to get there and it's going to be like one, two, three, four, five, okay? So these steps, uh, they always start with a verb like take, uh, turn, transfer, and then the word then, okay? So take, then transfer then that's how you know it's the next step all right so uh let's take a look at here this this is a subway map of vancouver 
It actually, the subway in Vancouver is called the Sky Train because most of the of the train is above the ground, not under the ground. Okay, um, but let's take a look at this. Let's say you're here at King George Station and you're trying to get to the airport over there and you ask me, excuse me, could you tell me how to get to the airport? Then I would say, uh, sure. Take the dark blue line uh, to Broadway, then transfer to the orange line and take that to City Hall then transfer to the light blue line and that goes all the way to the airport. Okay, will you understand that if I say that? Okay, let's, let's take a look. So there's three steps here, right? You're trying to get to the airport. I tell you, take the dark blue line to Broadway, then I could say transfer to the orange line, or I could say then take the orange line to City Hall, then take the light blue line to the airport. Okay, so we have three steps here in this situation. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Let's say you're getting a bit hungry and you want to go to like a grocery store, like a supermarket to buy some food, all right? A supermarket in Canada and the US, we usually use the word, the term grocery store, okay? You can use supermarket or grocery store. So, excuse me, could you tell me if there's a grocery store in the area? Uh, then the person who's answering you would say, yeah, there's one right around the corner across from Best Buy. Okay, so let's take a look at where this is. Here's your hotel. Yeah, there's one right around the corner across from Best Buy. So when you're asking for directions, you need to know these, uh, you need to be listening for these, these words. Around the corner, across from, across from the train station or across from the bakery, around the corner, or around the block, okay? So let's just do some homework here. I want you to ask me for directions to the zoo, okay? And, and I'll tell you if your question is right or wrong. I want you to post your question down there in the comments, and I'll tell you if there are any mistakes in it. Okay, I'll see you over in the next episode of Mad English TV. Take care.